Alright guys, what's going on today? We have one of the weirdest and probably one of the most exciting reviews. Oh, whoops. I just realized I messed up something here. Wow, that wasn't supposed to be there. But I'll keep it in the video just because I'm, I show everything in my videos. Oh my goodness. Bros, I messed this up so bad. This is not the proper setup here. Um, it's supposed to be like that. Um, I hope I get this right. There. Anyways, today you can see we have nice cars to review. Along with this one. I just didn't have any room to put it up there. So, yes, let's just, we need to jump strip right into this. This is my second um, try to record this video because the first time it just completely got locked ooh, locked right onto my iPad and I wasn't really sure how to um, send it to my email and it wouldn't send because our internet's so dang bad but anyways we are here now and I'm going to remove this this is what was keeping it standing so that you guys can see the Gailey box. But now I don't need it until I review Dale Jr. So it's all good. So the first car we're going to be looking at is definitely the 124 scale stock car for J.J. Yaley. And as you can see, you got like a J.J. Yaley sticker here. Uh, if you peel that off, you'll get something. I'm not going to do that though because... I don't really want to, and it's probably expired anyways. It might be a sticker. There might not even be anything on there. It's just a sticker of his car. Anyways, you got J.J. Yaley, Tommy Baldwin Racing, another sticker with J.J. Yaley on it, TBR, uh, the choice, still the choice of champions. I don't know how bad, how bad this is blurred out. Platinum Series, then J.J. Yaley with like a testing car. Then you got 2013. Be sure to register your cars on oh, DIN at www.lionoracing.com. Platinum Series, you got JJ Yaley, 36 Golden Corral, 2013 Chevy SS, one of 484, and it's serial number. And then on the top, you got testing car. J.J. Ailey and his face with Lionel NASCAR Collectibles, the official diecast of NASCAR. So let's just go ahead and open this right up. That is just a uh, cover. And then on the styrofoam it says Lionel NASCAR Collectibles. And it does come with screws. I'm going to show the bottom here real quick. Uh, that is where the screws go in and of course there's where the screws go in there so we're just gonna put that in the back and look at this die cast here guys for real look at that and you can't really see the front very well doing the best I can here this thing's pretty heavy so you got Goodyear contingencies 36 Golden Corral came Corral Golden Corral Buffet and Grill right there. I know you can't really see it that well, and I don't think my camera will focus. Oh, it will. There you go, Buffet and Grill. Grill, sorry. Got the nice Lionel tires. You got Golden Corral, Camp Corral, Top 10 Kids Eat Free, SS. SS there, and of course the number 36. And uh, yes, deck lid does open, but nothing too exciting to see in there. Golden Corral. Oh yeah, you had Buffet and Grill down here too. And then Golden Corral there with the roof flaps that um, do actually uh, deploy. So there you go. They do deploy. Pretty cool. That's Actually, this is the first car ever to have, for me, one of these roof flaps. Deploy. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ooh, I think they messed up something here. Yes, that is indeedly messed up. Wow. 
Good job, I know. And this whole time... Wow. That's super fucked up. Wow. But anyways, you have Golden Corral there. Buffet and Grill. Camp Corral. Golden Corral Buffet and Grill. And finally, the number 36 with the contingencies. And of course, moving tires. And then on the hood it says Golden Corral Camp Corral. And yes, of course, just like any other, it does open with the Chevy logo. And the engine. And then there's the front nose that we no longer have. So pretty nice J.J. Ailey, I'd have to say. Really, ooh. This is such a beautiful die cast. And uh, it's so nice to have. Um, I wanted this one kind of for a while, but I never really thought I'd get it. So I'd just like to thank my grandma for this. Super nice to get this for me. And thank you to eBay for existing to let me get this. So that's really cool to have. I know J.J. Ailey isn't like Kyle Busch or Dale Earnhardt Jr., of course, or Kevin Harvick, Kent, Matt Kenseth, you know, but he was my underdog favorite. You know, of course, Dale Jr., my main favorite. But J.J. Ailey was just my underdog favorite. I, first, I liked the name. But then I kind of saw his car, and I kind of enjoyed that, too. Yes, the one wheel is over here sitting on it, so don't worry. But anyways, beautiful piece of die cast. And just, I'm just going to let it sit here. Whoops. Um, put that back. There we go. I'm going to let it sit there. And I have a reason for that. Yes, I'm sick. I either have allergies or a cold, and my nose is all kinds of fucked up. But anyways... We have a little one, too. That was a terrible voice crack. Wow. With the testing car and J.J. Ailey. So, we're going to open this up real quick. This is going already better than the last review I tried to do with this. And I was so bland and so tired and had a terrible day. And I recorded anyways, which was a bad idea. But anyways, here's the small one. I'm not going to review it too much. Much. Because... Um, you guys have really already seen this car. But anyways, you have the contingencies, Goodyear 36. So just pretty much everything you would expect out of this car, you know. Obviously nothing opens, you know. It's just a, it's just a 164 scale, which is why I bought the 124, because all that stuff does open. And this is the best version I have. I have four of these. Four. One is on my shelf. One's in my hand, and two are in my um, NASCAR storage box. That's what I'm going to call it. And uh, this is the best version. The other version I got had something on the hood, and the splitter was, I think, messed up. The other two, which are older, uh, the 36 on both sides are all beat up. The bumper's all kind of screwed up. Um, not too bad. Nothing you guys would maybe want to replace, but it... Me and my... Um, as uh, I was going to say STDs. Wow. Cut this part out. But anyways, yeah. Uh, me with my, uh, you know, what is it called? What? Uh, I know you guys are probably screaming at me right now. What is that called? When you want everything to be perfect. I say it all the time. My brain is messed up right now. But anyways, the, um, the only thing wrong with this car, if you can see, there is a paint chip right there running all the way down. But that's the only problem with this car. And this car, I believe, in my opinion, is rare to find. You can find like Google images of it and stuff, like YouTube videos and all that. But finding this on eBay took me three days of searching. Three days. That's ridiculous. For just a small little car like this, all I could find was the 124. Which is why I decided to get the 124. But the 164, uh, they're really nice. They're really... For some reason, rare to find. But, uh, yeah. So there's my little rant on my J.J. Haley. Really nice to have. And I encourage you guys to pick these up. Because if you're, like, in this for, like, the money. Or, like, to sell them. This one right here could be worth some money. But I do not plan to sell this. Because he was my favorite underdog in 2013. 2014. And 2015, I want to say. Before he just uh, fell off of NASCAR. 
and moved into the uh, Xfinity series. So yeah, that was my little rant of JJ Yaley. We're gonna take this one off now. There weren't many differences except the wheels on this one is, you know, yellow inside, and the um, deck lid, roof flaps, and hood opened. So that was really. Those are the main differences. You know, you got some differences with the interior and stuff, but I'm not going to get into that. Apparently, the 164s never come with that bar. So it is what it is. But anyways, next, as I really cut myself on that car, do not fall on my shelf. Triggered. All right, what is next? Oh, my goodness. I can't even begin to tell you what's next, but since I hate him, He's next. That's right. I, my friend, or my ex-friend right now, because we got into a stupid fight, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I'll update you guys if we're friends or not, but as of right now, in this video, me and Ethan are not friends, and we're having a huge fight. Apparently, some people lied to him, and I said I wasn't going to get into it, but now I am. Um, people lied to him and tell him that I was, like, two-facing him and shit. Which, no one... I don't understand why you do that. And then I called him last night. He's like, dude, just stop fucking calling me. You're a fucking two-faced. And you never really cared about me. And I'm like, really? Because if I cared about... If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't be fucking trying to contact you every damn five minutes. Trying to get you to just talk to me and listen. But, uh, yeah. You know, just... It is what it is. He doesn't want to listen to me. He wants to listen to this girl he likes and... You know, when a guy falls in love with a girl, they're not going to listen to anybody else but him, uh, the girl. So, it is what it is. I'll just let it try and boil over. And I'll update you guys as soon as possible on that. But on a happy note, he destroyed this Kyle Bush. It was already destroyed, I'm going to say. This is one of my very old Kyle Bushes. In fact, I destroyed it before he did. But he broke the wing off. I did not do that. He broke. Oh my gosh, you fucking focus right now. Oh, I fucking swear, you fucking dick. This thing is not focusing, guys. Okay, what do I do? But yeah, he broke the wing off, and you can see that it's bent. I mean, okay. I get it. He didn't break the, like, entire wing off. But, like, I guess what I mean to say is he broke the end of the wing off. And he really scratched up the paint more than it was. But anyways, I was already deciding to replace it, so fuck it. We got a brand new one. From Winter Circle. I can barely get that down there. But yes, it is from Winter Circle. So we're just going to have to pop this sucker open. It does come with the magnet. Uh, the magnet was in, not in the box. Uh, when I bought it, yes, it was. It, this thing was never even opened. So it probably could have been worth some more money. But me and, uh, yeah, I'm not in it for the money. So, yeah, fuck that. Not in it for the money. But anyways, here it is. Fresh out of the package again. I'm going to find the magnet here. I'm going to show that to you real quick. A, uh, yeah, we're just going to show you the magnet. It's actually quite nice. For just the number, you got M&M's Racing. I remember when they used to call it that. Do they still call it M&M's Racing? Uh, let me know. You got Joe Gibbs up there. I know you can't really see it that well. And then, of course, you got the lovely 18 with... Does that say Kyle Busch? Yes, it does. I thought that said Rowdy. So, um, yeah, you have Kyle Busch there. What else does that say? NASCAR 2008 Joe Gibbs Racing. Just some stuff right down there. So nice. I don't see that there. Now let's get into the actual car. You got M&Ms on the front like always. Just This kind of just is basic paint scheme from, I believe, 2008. You got 18 with... I want to say that's a M&M &M surrounding that. 18 there with the blue Skittle. Skittle? M&M, what am I saying? You got the yellow dude, the red dude. I'm going to call them dudes. Dude Ed. You got m ms back there. m ms there with the orange dude kind of peeking out from the steel down there. Or what looks to be painted steel, which it is painted steel. You got the green girl. You got the blue dude. Red 18. Or, well, white 18 on a red M&M. It's just a nice paint scheme, you know. There's the... Oh my gosh, I really wish this would focus. Please focus for me. 
Oh my gosh, it focused. Thank you. Now you can see the car better. I'm going to give it one more 360 because you guys really just did not get the taste of this car. See what I did there. Pun was not intended, but see what I did there. So yeah, really nice. Really nice car. Um, just looks like I... Yeah, the car, you know, that... The car that I threw on, you guys can't see it, that's why I stopped pointing, but... You know, the car you guys just saw, before this one, was super beat, you know? So, just time to replace it. And I do have another Kyle Busch coming in, even though I hate him, it is another replacement. So, still getting in the childhood replacements, and we got a few others in the next video. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next car. I need to figure out what car I want to do next. Oops. I just move that. Um, let me think. Who do I want to do next? I'm going to do... I'm going to just kind of go in the, the date order right now. That was one of the oldest that I have in this pile. So it makes sense if we did another one from this era. Jeff Burton's AT&T. Back when AT&T was in NASCAR. I'm not sure if any phone company, not even Sprint, is in NASCAR anymore. So Verizon or AT&T could come back. But anyways, you have AT&T on the hood. Beautiful orange paint scheme, I gotta say. It's super sleek. Love the blue lines and the black lines going off of it. Love the black here, and I like that the black is uh, surrounding the trim of the actual hood, so you can see what the head, hood hood had hood actually looks like. Anyway, you got AT&T there on the uh, fender. You got AT&T there. You got some small ones. You got, I'm going to read that to you. Lennox is the um, rectangle and Prilosec. I can't read that at all. The purple one. Now maybe you guys can if I can get it to focus just right. I believe that's as, that's as much as the focus. But anyways, you got at t there on the end of the wing. You got at t dot com slash wireless wireless delivered. Right there, you got SKF and something else. Some of these you just can't read on these uh, small diecasts. And the one eighty seven, I can't imagine how hard that would be to read the smaller uh, decals. But anyways, it's a beautiful car. Um, it actually looks better. Oops, landed on its wheels. It looks better in person. It's a more, uh, it's not too dark, but it is just a tad bit darker. Um, in real person, in real life. Um, on my iPad, it's showing like a faded orange. Uh, that's not accurate. That's almost as accurate as you'll get with the orange. You see, that is just dark, just dark enough. Just go look at images. Of this car and you'll see what I'm talking about beautiful car really like it so yeah that is Jeff Burton's AT&T number 31 and the next car we are going to be looking at is oh by the way that was from I want to say 2009 I'll tell you hold on did I guess the year right Nope, one off. 2008. Okay, same era as Kyle Busch. That's correct. Next, we have a 2011 car. It is very rare. It took me two years to find this car. But I wasn't looking very hard. But I was looking. Um, and um, he, you may not remember him. I only have one more of his die cast. His last race that I remember was in 2014 when he ran in the 35 car for Front Row Motorsports. And you know it's a cool whip. You may or may not remember him. He was in this car. And this is David Rudiman. Yes, what kind of name is Rudiman? David's popular though. But anyways, yes. This is not a custom. This is not... This is Lionel Diecast, okay? Lionel piece of die cast. Holy cow. Here's the box. That is full on Lionel. 
There's your proof. So yes, this is a real die cast. And it took me forever to find this. But you got Aaron's on the hood. Double zero. Aaron's. Tom's. What does that say? Best Western right there. Got the lucky dog right there. Aaron's dream machine. Got the Aaron dog right there. Uh, same size last, a ton of little, little, little sponsors. Contingencies. Just a beautiful car. Not even sure why I really, really wanted it. Oh, little paint chip there. Dang it, I said it's a perfect car before, but oh well. The yellow splitter. It's such a beautiful car. So happy I found it. David Rudiman. Um, he was considered an underdog, and he was definitely one of my favorites. It's sad that he doesn't race in NASCAR anymore. I thought he was pretty good. I believe he got a few wins for Michael Waltrip, which is why I think they let him go because he didn't get that many. But I do play with him on NASCAR 2011 and 2014. Uh, sorry about my nose. Um, yeah, just a great piece of diecast right here. And uh, good to see that the double zero is back on track with uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Derek Cope, and Landon Castle. So... Very nice. That is David Rudiman's Double Zero from 2011. And the next car I'm happy to look at is one you may never remember. Yes, it's another one that you may never remember. Remember, it's, I don't think it's that rare. It wasn't too hard for me to find. I just literally searched it once and there it was. So, this is Kyle Larson's first ever ride. Not in the... Not in NASCAR in general, because that would be a truck, and that would be very rare to find if it like was a 164, 124, not too bad. But in the Cup Series, and that is his number 51 for not even the team that is in NASCAR anymore. Phoenix Racing. Yes, Kyle Larson was in a small team before he joined uh you know the big team name chip ganassi racing but it's a beautiful die cast gotta say target has been with kyle larson through his whole career and at, at least nascar as far as my knowledge goes until this year and it's so sad to see target go because i know kyle larson sponsored target a long time ago and i actually just remember they drove the 51 uh a few weeks ago when I ordered this, so got target on the hood, fifty one with what is that? Six targets? Five targets. I thought five, but got Clorox Target brand, which has been with uh, the fifty one team for a while. Um they were with uh Justin Allgaier when he was in the fifty one. So yeah. Brandt.co Target with six targets there. 51 is right there. And, of course, the rookie strips. Or stripes. I love the outlining of the red on this car. It really looks nice. And, of course, your white splitter. Really looks nice. Love the 51 uh, font. They kept that with Justin Allgaier, but they changed it up just a tad with the colors, obviously. But on Kyle Larson's car, it looks absolutely splendid. That means splendid. <laughs> but, yeah, beautiful car. Like it a lot. And, uh, man, yeah, you just gotta get them Kyle Larson die casts, especially when he's your favorite. So, Kyle Larson is, of course, my new favorite, you know. Alex Bowman ain't doing much right now. and I'll wait for him to pick up his career a little bit. But, uh, yep, Kyle Larson is my absolute favorite now since Dale Earnhardt Jr. retired and I had to jump to one of the young guns. So, Kyle Larson was my pick. He's already won a few races. Happy for him. Liked him since 2013. But, uh, just, I wasn't, like, paying attention to him, but I'm like, oh, Kyle Larson. Yeah, I, I heard about him. He was driving the number 32 or 42, whichever number. I think it was 42. The first race I saw him with was when he was in the number 42 and he had like a, sh a Target shopping cart on this car. 
a while ago. I, w I didn't see him when he was in the 32. So that's pretty sad. But uh, yeah, great die cast for my buddy, Kyle freaking Larson. And we got another Kyle Larson. Oh, we're not done. Oh, no, we're not done. We got another Kyle Larson. And this one, I had to have. Right when I saw it, I had to have it. I was looking up 2014 uh, Kyle Larson diecast, trying to find a replacement for the actual 2014 car, and I found this. Kyle Larson's Sunoco Rookie of the Year for the Sprint Cup Series. And I had to have it. It comes with a galaxy finish. Look at that sparkle uh, metal flake paint. Beautiful. 42. Uh, I think that's Mountain Dew, in fact. And won't focus because it's so sparkly. Like, Yeah, I won't focus. Let me try and go with the white. There we go. You just had to hit it in the white. So you got M Mountain Dew, Snuggle, Continental. Degree bunch of targets on the car back when you have tons and tons and tons of targets They didn't run it all the way down to the splitter, but yes, you got target on the hood Beautiful car energizer rookie strips of course Clorox And of course, oh there is something down here. Holy cow There's the sharpened cart with cartwheel so, this is such a beautiful car. I'm not sure what's wrong with the lighting here. Maybe I need to move. I don't know. There we go. That's not 100% better, but it is better. It's such a beautiful car. And I love this car so much. The Galaxy was on, on point. Beautiful car. Great job to Kyle Larson. And great job for Chip Ganass for uh, letting him have this ride and I hope he's in it for a long time because they needed one after one file on toy so beautiful just beautiful that's all I have to say about that car just beautiful so the next car I'm going to be looking at is the not the final but one of the final Kyle Larson cars this is the second to final I'm just doing all the Kyle Larson's first just to be truthful here guys Kyle Larson yeah. Come on, get out. It won't get out of the... This is the first time I've opened this one. And I'm for real. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know where the paint chips are. Now, I do have this car, but it got a little beat up. You guys will think it's stupid for me to replace it after the marks you'll see on it, but knowing me, I can't really go without not replacing it. By the way, I'm looking at the car right now, and it looks phenomenal. Yes, yeah, getting a sneak peek before you... <gasps> But it's the 2017 Kyle Larson. 2017. It looks like a 2016, but it's 2017. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Although I do have two. I just realized I got... No, I did not do this. Oh, wait, but this was my good... That was my good one. Okay, I realized. Okay, never mind. You got 42 Axe, Crest, Cottonell, Coca-Cola. Three targets, Larson on the... Back window there, Energizer, the Bullseye Dog, and then the same side there, and Target on the hood. And uh, here is the other 2017 one we have. Do you guys see a big difference here when I put them here? Hold on. Do you guys see the difference? Please tell me you see the difference right now. This is more than a difference. This is like two different cars. This is the... Um... What is this called? This is the authentic. And this is just the regular. What happened? Why is there two different 2017 Kyle Larsons? Why? This makes no sense. Why does this one have so much more red on the side than this one? I mean, it has it on the side... Just not a ton of it. What sense does that make, Lionel? What absolute sense does this make? It makes none. None at all. That's what I'm going to answer. When I saw this car, when I pulled it out of the package, I'm like, okay, what does it look like on the side? And it looked like exactly what I thought it would. 
I thought it would look like that because the picture showed that. And I'm like, but wait, I want one like this because this is the one I have. So is this the real accurate Kyle Larson? Is this the real accurate Kyle Larson? Well, you know what? We're not waiting to find out. You know why? Where's my phone? Is I'm going to look this up. I'm really triggered about this. I can't find my phone. Oh, it's in my pocket. Wow, I feel dumb. Guys, this is more than ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. This is... Okay, let me go to Google. I'm sorry, just taking a little bit here. We're going to go with... Come on. Kyle Larson 2017 NASCAR. And we're getting proof. Hit images. And looky, looky what I found. Look who's more accurate now, Lionel. This is his 2017 diecast. There's the monster logo just to prove so. This is 2017. That one is more accurate than the one I just got today. Now, we're going to look at some more images here. Is this his 2017 the win? No, that's 20. Look at this. This is the 2016 car. This is the first race he won at. Do you see the different? Do you... Whoa. Do you see the... Why is it blacking out? I've never, ever seen that before. Maybe I need to turn down my brightness. Oh my gosh, I just freaking turned down my brightness. Okay, I'm going to hold up the car. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Or do you see the similarities? That's ridiculous. So I just pretty much got a 2016 car. That I didn't want. I wanted 2017. And look, I'm even going to show you the box. Where's the box? Here's the box that it came in. And it says, 2017. Kyle Larson. I'm triggered. That should not have happened. And it looks like the 2017 diecast. Everything about this diecast... Looks like a 2017 diecast. I mean, now the authentics don't have the name rails or the uh, window banners, but the regulars do. And I really wish this would focus right now. I'm having a rant. Got Coca Cola, Energizer, Cottonelle, Crest, all of that. Oh, yeah, there's the marks, by the way, that were put into it. I know it's stupid, right? But anyway, Target, 42, three targets on both. I mean, these cars are exactly the same. So why, except this, the, the paint scheme, why Lionel? Someone please explain to me why this happened. There's another mark, by the way. Explain to me why this happened, because I'm really mad. I'm about to, I'm not going to send the car back, because it's Kyle Larson and... I can just use the 2016 car now. But why did this happen? Why? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's all I've got for that car. I'm triggered and I don't... I'm mad. That's stupid. Stupid! Thanks a lot, Lionel. But the next car I know is accurate. And that next car is... Going to be taken out of the package. I haven't looked at this one yet either. I just brought these home. These will, this is the last one that I haven't looked at yet until we get into uh, the next video that I'm going to do. But this is his 2017 Credit One Bank card. I know it's 2018. I know. I get it. It's a 2017 car. But guess what? There's two reasons I bought this. Three reasons. One is Kyle Larson. Two, I don't have this one, and I do like it. And it's his first Credit One Bank car that I've, I've seen. And, yeah. Um, and three, uh, I'm going to get the 2018 one. And I want to review a side-by-side -side for them. So, yes. But anyways, you got credit one. Targets last year for Target for him, sadly. 42, 42 credit one. Larson, what does that say? 
Oh, official credit card of NASCAR. Yes, sir. How many times did they say that? And this is the f this is the final lap sponsored by Credit One Bank. Something like that. Credit One, Credit One, Targets for Two. And of course, got Credit One Bank on the front. All in all, beautiful die cast. Got a white splitter. Just a beautiful die cast. Really, actually, I didn't like it at first. I wanted him to keep running the Targets theme because that was one of the weird reasons that I liked him. But I kind of grew into the scheme. I grew into the colors because it was blue. And I do actually really like it. Now that I have it, I'm liking it even more. The die cast looks a beautiful thumbs up. So, beautiful die cast. Nothing more to say about this, really. Just a splendid die cast. Really nice to have. And I'm running really bad on time right now. So I gotta keep on moving. That's Kyle Larson's Credit One die cast. From 2017. Don't worry, I'll get to 2018 one soon, guys. I hope, I hope, I hope that it comes out in a, um, a NASCAR wave. Hope. The next car we're going to be looking at is a 2018 car. Yes, sir. We got some 2018s in here. The last two are going to be 2018, just a heads up. And the first one we're going to be looking at... Shit, it's still on the stand. Completely forgot about that. And I don't have time to take it off. I was gonna, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to take the beer cars off the stand. So, stay tuned for that. Yes, it's still on the stand. I get it. But I'm not taking it off now. But this is the Kevin Harvick Bush car. Now, you may have seen other ones on this channel. And we're going to be looking at that one and why about this one. But anyways, first we're going to go Bush Can, Bush, Jimmy Johns, Haas, Bush, Jimmy Johns, freaky fast. Bush, Ford, four. Bush, Jimmy Johns, Haas, number four. Love the, I do like the Bush uh, commercials. I don't like beer or anything. You know, I'm against beer and shit. Don't judge me. People have their opinions on shit. I'm really... I'm, I'm sorry for the kids and parents who are watching this saying saying you shouldn't watch them anymore because he's cussing. I've just really had a rough week. Leave me alone about it. Let me do what I want. I do what I want. This is my channel. If you don't like it, leave. Bush beer. And then what does that say? Brewed in USA, which is what they say in the commercials. Hey... And then, of course, we got the Ford Fusion. Last year, we're going to see that because, hey, the Ford Mustang is coming because they're copying the Camaros. But that's okay. Ford is now going to have a rough time next year finding a handle on the Ford Mustangs, at least for a few races. We'll see how long it takes for the Camaros to come in, and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, kind of look back on that next year when we see them uh, have a handle on the Ford Mustangs. But I have to say, the Camaros did win the first race of the season. So they, they did look strong. But then again, it was a Daytona plate race. You know, all it kind of counts as luck. But if Ford did lead that race, and it was Eric Gamble, it sadly got dumped. But anyways, beautiful car. Now, let's look at the other two that I have. I have this other one I reviewed not too long ago. Whoops. And I have his 2016 Bush car because I didn't get his last year. And we're going to look at them. And the one is a Chevy, just going to warn you. So it's not the best example. But it's the one I got. So first, the reason why I bought another one. This is Bush Light, and I wanted the real Bush. But it's pretty much the same paint scheme, just in that nice light blue. But I do like the dark blue. I'm digging the dark blue a lot more than the light. So there's that one. It's just light. And then we have this one. And I... I'm still thinking this was a better paint scheme. Even though it was in a Chevy, I still think this was the better paint scheme. I was kind of upset when he changed it just to that. You know, he should have kept it. But it is what it is. So there you go. Beautiful, isn't it? Which paint scheme do you like better? Let me know in the comments below which paint scheme you would prefer. And you know what? Just to kind of be funny, this paint scheme still runs. But there's the Bush cars that I have so far. So there you go. Those are the Bush cars. 2016, 2017, 2018.
Give it a thumbs up. Tap that bell. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> Turn on notifications. I'm just dropping this car. I'm going to have to replace it. That was the Bush car. And the last car we got, I just got this yesterday. I did look at it, though. You guys may remember when I reviewed Jamie McMurray's Cessna car not too long ago. Well, this is the third one I got. It's 2014, 2017, and now it's 2018. That's right, guys. This comes on the PTC mold, so it's not, you know, 100% accurate. <coughs> I went this whole video without coffee, and then I coughed. But anyways, you got Cessna. I figured out it's supposed to be a little off. I looked at pictures. It's supposed to be just a little off on the hood. Beautiful front. Not wanting to focus very well at Oh, that was even worse. Try and put it right there. Okay, you know what? Let me just uh Can I can I do that? There we go. That worked a lot better. So there's the front end. You got Cessna. And then you got these giant tires. And just to prove that's on the PTC mold. Where is it? PTC. That's what that means. With these fat tires. McDonald's, Cessna. Textron, Cessna logo there. Uh, Beechcraft. Is that Bell Helicopter? Cessna. McMurray out there on the window banner. Same side as last, but little, little, little contentities. Well, I mean, you had a few there, too, but, man, NASCAR's really losing contingencies. Oh, hey, NASCAR's for sale, by the way. Please, someone good buy it. I'm going to get in. I'm not going to get into that too much, but please, uh, someone buy NASCAR. Please, like, someone really good who actually cares about auto racing... And you could just tell that Bill France just didn't give a shit about NASCAR one bit. I mean, he trashed the sport. And that's what happens in family businesses, you know, but he really destroyed what his grandfather and father built out of that sport. And it's so sad, you know. NASCAR's my favorite, and it's so hard to see NASCAR go down. That's where the Windows banner is supposed to be, by the way. That's funny. But yeah, that's Jamie McMurray's. 2017, 2018, not 2017, that's for diecast. Now we're just going to set up all the cars like I normally do. Not even sure how well this is going to go. I'm going to put the Yaley back there. Not even sure how well this is going to go again. This is going to go terribly, probably. I'm going to put it as close as possible. But for real, guys, I really appreciate every single piece of support you guys give me. Um, you guys are the reason why I'm here, as always. Um, please tell me if you guys have any of these diecasts. It'd be really, really cool to know. You know, some of these were really hard to find. You know, they were pain in the booties to find. So it, it'd really nice be nice to know uh, where maybe you got your guys' cars so I can maybe have an idea of where to get mine next time. And this is set up in no order because I'm ready to put this on my computer and upload it to YouTube. So I... Whoa, it's blurry. I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support you guys give me on this channel. I don't exist unless you guys are out here helping me out. So I really, 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 really appreciate that. By the way, I never got to compare. But here's the other McMurray. You guys already kind of saw it, you know. There's a huge, huge difference, so really not much to compare there, but yeah, uh, yeah, so not even sure what I was trying to do there, but anyways, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel, helping me out. I truly, truly appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat. Snapchat will be in the intro, or, and outro, um, so if you want to see that, and then of course, the rest of that will be in the link, or the... The links will be in the description below if you want to follow me. Please, please do. It'd be nice. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, I got to tell you, if you're wondering which one's my favorite, 
I don't have a favorite. These were all great die casts, except the bush. The bush is definitely not my favorite because Kyle Bush, you know, just childhood replacement. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.